Good evening, you're watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman television. First, the headlines. The Shura Council approves the Veterinary Products Law and Recommendations of Omanization Challenges Study and Leadership Positions at the Private Sector. The economic dialogue session calls the private sector to participate in increasing investments and further action to face the fiscal deficit. The Ministry of Tourism launches its summer promotional campaign under the theme Discover Oman's Beauty. Shipwrecks of Vasco da Gama's fleet discovered at the Sultanate's waters to be restored for display at the National Museum. Live from the news center of the Sultanate of Oman Television, here we present to you tonight's news bulletin. The Shura Council approved during its session today the GCC Veterinary Products Law forwarded from the Council of Ministers. Two urgent statements were presented at the session on the cheated rice issue lately revealed by the Consumer Protection Authority. All bodies concerned were appealed to by a detailed statement on the recent food staff manipulation cases and to defame names of the companies involved as well as to set severe penalties against them. The council the Council also endorsed recommendations of the study done on organization challenges in leadership and supervision positions at the private sector. His Excellency Khalid bin Hilal al Maouli, Chairman of the Shura Council, presided over the session. His Excellency Hilal bin Saeed al Yahya, Chairman of Food and Water Security at Shura Council, said that the number of approved decisions in the health field are considered as an achievement at the level of the Gulf Cooperation Council countries. This law also will contribute in decreasing the price of veterinary products and will encourage local and foreign investments in the GCC countries. Dialogue sessions at the Shura Council on economic policies to face oil prices declines have revealed that inconsistent statistics were provided in the fiscal deficit ratios at the state general budget. On a related issue, the session discussed lack of an official acknowledgement on the existence of an economic and uh, financial issue. The session clarified that salaries constitute 35% of the budget and stressed that the ninth five-year plan needs the private sector's participation for huge investment as it is the main contributor to the economic sector. The Ministry of Tourism launched its summer promotional campaign for the second consecutive year under the theme Discover Oman's Beauty. Through this campaign, a three-day exhibition will be held in Muscat City Centre, a SIB, from May 19th to May 21st, 2016, where hotels and travel partners will showcase existing deals for this summer. A total of 27 packages has been designed at high, highly competitive prices to attract locals and residents of the Sultanate and encourage them to explore the various places of interest. Speaking about the exhibition, Salim bin Ade Al Ma'amari, Director General for Tourism Promotion in the Ministry of Tourism, said the three day Discover Oman's Beauty exhibition has been planned specially for the citizens and residents so that they avail these packages and enjoy the unique tourist destinations and activities we have identified. For the campaign, such promotions are meant to cement the link between the public and private sector as it is important for both to work together to promote tourism in the country. Two thousand eight hundred archaeological pieces, including the ship's bell, as well as golden and silver coins of the shipwreck of the explorer Vasco da Gama's fleet that sank in fifteen o three, are a good example that Oman had a good cross cultural communication between the West and the East. 
All 2,800 pieces are currently under maintenance and repair in a national project which is considered as the first of its kind at the level of the region. After maintaining works, these historical pieces will be shown in the National Museum in the Governorate of Muscat, which will attract people from inside and outside the Sultanate. Still to come in our news bulletin. Outcome of technical education in the Sultanate contribute in providing the public and private sectors with efficient and well-trained cadres. تنفرد محافظة الداخلية بموقعها الحيوي الذي يتوسط عدة محافظات توصف بأنها متحف سياحي وثقافي غني بالتنوع والثراء. منوه إلى ضرورة جعل القرار محلي وليس وليس مركزي. إنشاء لقاء المناقصات في المحافظة راح يعزز دور المجالس البلدية وراح يعني يعطي كل محافظة سباق مع المحافظات الأخرى في تطوير ما لديها من مقومات هناك الكثير من المنتجات الصناعات المحلية التي يمكن لها أن تتطور لتصبح صناعة ما نحتاجه أكثر هو التدليل الصعوبات من خلال التسهيلات الإجرائية الفرص الاستثمارية بمحافظة الداخلية في حلقة هذا الأسبوع من اقتصاد المحافظات في برنامج رؤية اقتصادية يأتيكم في الأوقات التالية نتكلم عن ادب عماني يجب ان نعطي حقه في فتره ركود. نصيب يشابه بيوت الغنى مو صدى بيبانها للطارقين. التصيد في الاساس هي فكره بس كيفيه تبسيط الفكره المتلقيه مش فيك واقف تنتظر من تنتظر؟ وانا لي اكثر من عندي وانا مقضيها مصيبه. القصيده الواعيه هي القصيده اللي تؤثر مباشره في الروح. عطني دقيقه من يديك اقطف لك الدنيا قلب يشتاق لك ويموت فيك. الشعر اللي ما عرف يلفت انظار يترك مجال الشعر ويتبع امور. مهم القصيد البرنامج المهتم بكل ما يهم الشاعر والشعر في ساحتنا الشعبيه هنا في عمان. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. Exchanging cordial conversations and reviewing the bilateral relations between the Sultanate and France and means of enhancing them in various areas were the main aspects of talks during the meeting of His Excellency Sayyid Khalid bin Hilal Al Busaidi, Minister of Royal Diwan of Royal Court, with His Excellency Roland Dubentrant, Ambassador of the French Republic to the Sultanate. Technical Committee concerned about applying mechanisms of urban planning reviewed in its meeting today. Forty themes related to changing the use of land and buildings heights in a number of governorates in the Sultanate, in addition to the approval of investment projects with the added value. The meeting was chaired by His Excellency Engineer Saif bin Amr al Shikhsi and the Secretary of the Ministry of Housing. Outcome of technical education in the Sultanate contribute in providing the public and private sectors with efficient and well-trained cadres. More details in the following report, read by Suleiman Al-Buhri. The graduates of engineering and administration specialties are in the top of the technology colleges, in addition to sciences field. Technology colleges have five main programs, including 38 subspecialties such as engineering, commercial studies, IT, and sciences. The number of the students in the technology colleges in the Sultanate reached around 40,000 male and female students in the academic year 2015-2016. 2,748 students graduated from the engineering specialties in 2015 followed by 1,149 male and female students in the commercial specialties. The technology college's graduates were divided into three categories, namely technical diploma, advanced technical diploma, and technical bachelor graduates. The students who graduated with technical diploma reached 2,353 male and female students, 
while the students graduated with advanced technical diploma, reached 271 and 2,531 students with technical bachelor. The private sector is considered as the first destination for the graduates of these colleges, especially the engineering specialties. That was Suleiman al buhri with that report. The Sultan marked the World Family Day, which falls on the 15th of May each year. On this occasion, a ceremony was held in the Wilay of Dhank in the Governorate of Zahira. It came to highlight the significant role of the family to build the society. The event included dialogue sessions which focused on the concept of education, child law, family guidance and protection in addition to health services provided to women and children. It also discussed the influence of social media on family bonds. The accompanying exhibition focused on programs and projects of the rural women as well as ways of acquainting the children with the good values and Omani traditions and customs. The Directorate General of Education in the Governorate of North Sharqiya implemented the Intel Training Program project that targeted more than 100 trainees. It was considered a global program with the aim to use new technology in education process. Though this program, uh, the teachers can create an active atmosphere in the classroom by using various sources in addition to display lectures in a way to improve the students' intellectual skills as well as making the lectures more interesting. Providing health and social care to elderly and protect them from violence and being neglected were the main focus of the first forum of elderly friends. The forum held in the Wilay of Sohar focused on the needs and requirements of the elderly like health care and respect. The forum as well as shed light on the role and goals of Omani Association for Elderly Friends. It's uh, as well encouraged and uh, promoted culture of voluntary work among participants and society members. In order to develop youth talents in photography and training workshop in the field of photography was held in the Ibri College of Technology. The workshop witnessed the participation of lecturers, male and female students who presented more than 60 photographs about Omani environment and beauty of the nature in the Sultanate. The workshop shed light on camera heads, its components and ways of modifying pictures to adjust correct lighting. And now for the general weather forecast. Clear skies will prevail over most governorates with chances of cloud accumulation and scattered rainfall uh, over the Hajar Mountains as well as chances of clouds on the coast of Governorate of Lufar. Low clouds and fog late at night and early morning are expected over the coastal areas of the Arabian Sea. Winds will be northeastly light to moderate along the coastal areas of the Sea of Oman and southerly to westerly light to moderate along the coastal areas of the Arabian Sea. The rest of the southernate will be south to southeasterly light to moderate occasionally active. Seas will be moderate along the coast overlooking the Arabian Sea with a maximum wave height of 2 meters and slight along the rest of the southernate coast with a maximum wave height of 1.25 meters.
This is the Sultan of Oman television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. The Shura Council approves the veterinary products law and recommendations of organization challenges, the study and leadership positions at the private sector. The economic dialogue session calls uh, private sector to participate in increasing investments and further action to face fiscal deficit. The Ministry of Tourism launches its summer promotional campaign under the theme, Discover Oman's Beauty. And shipwrecks of Vasco da Gama's fleet discovered at the Sultan's waters to be restored for display at the National Museum. With that, we conclude this uh, news uh, bulletin brought to you live from the Sultanate of Oman television here.